Hi, my name is Shane. For those who are new, welcome back if you're returning. I want to preface today's video by saying that I am not a true crime expert. I am simply a true crime fan. So please take everything as an allegation, speculation, or my own opinion unless it has been proven otherwise in the court of law. I don't want to get sued. Over Labor Day weekend, September of 2023, there was a four-day long birthday party going on in Terrell, Oklahoma. A truck driver was driving on US 81 when he came came across a body on the side of the road. Upon closer investigation by officials, they recognized that the body was nude, except for wearing two mismatching shoes. The body was identified as 19-year-old Noah Pressgrove from Oklahoma. The Oklahoma State Bureau calls the case suspicious just because he had an extensive amount of injuries on his body, including blunt force trauma, broken ribs, and knocked out teeth. There was no debris or vehicle parts located around his body to indicate what may have happened, although they did find a pair of undamaged shorts that they presumed to be Noah's, a white metal chain, and a piece of a broken tooth located near his body. The victim was last seen at the house party on September 3rd, and he even went on an ATV ride with several men. The ride ended up in a rollover accident, and at first I thought, oh, maybe Noah had gotten into an accident with his friends, and maybe now they're trying to do a cover-up but that was quickly debunked when I found out he survived the rollover accident and when he returned to the party later he actually ended up getting into an argument with his girlfriend. Noah Presgrove's autopsy has given chilling insights into his final moments. The report reveals the extensive injuries to the 19 year old with 10 broken ribs, skull, neck and spine fractures, brain and organ damage. Both lungs were punctured. The air in both his cranial cavity and spinal cord suggests massive head trauma. Oklahoma's chief medical examiner had ruled Pressgrove had died of multiple blunt force injuries, but the cause was undetermined. Doctors have said due to the varied catastrophic injuries, he believes Noah was most likely beaten to a death. Dallin Pressgrove, Noah's Pressgrove's brother, is saying that he suspects foul play, and he says that they're still stuck at square one with trying to figure out what happened to his brother. There was an exclusive interview with Noah's best friend, Jack Newton. Anybody who was at that party or seen with Noah on his last days should have at least some information. In an exclusive interview, Noah's brother dropped a bombshell. He said police told him that they have several people they are looking at as possible suspects. He also says he personally believes his brother, Noah, fell victim to foul play, which is the exact opposite of what Noah's best friend is saying. There's a lot of online chatter, and I think that's the reason why they're asking for you to take a polygraph test about you and your father. I mean, tell me about what that experience has been like for you to have to handle that type of discussion happening all around you. I think the reason that I got brought into it is because, I mean, going through high school, you did not hear Jack's name without Noah and Noah without Jack. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know where all the crazy talks come from. It just sucks. I took the polygraph test, and I mean, it was nerve-wracking for us. People were saying, Oh, saying like it's it's easy to pass a polygraph and stuff like that. It's just I don't know. I theorize that Jack does know what happened to Noah, but maybe doesn't want to get himself or maybe others involved into trouble. Although his death is not being investigated as a homicide, leading theories are led to believe that he may have fell or even been pushed from a truck. Other theories include maybe he was car surfing or maybe he was doing donuts and was ejected outside of a window. All possible theories, but the only issue with those that I'm finding are the undamaged shorts that were found. Now at the moment I don't even know if those belong to Noah but if they did, if he was car surfing or pushed or fell from a truck, when did he, why is he naked? It's not like he would just be ejected holding his shorts naked, you know? There would at least be some sort of tears or blood. The, the shorts would not be undamaged if they were on Noah's body at the time of his death. Now have investigators even looked into his wounds to determine whether they were pre or post mortem. If he was injured after he died, there's no blood pressure pushing the blood to these open wounds. So you should be able to determine whether the injury was sustained before before or after his death. In my opinion, it looks like it would line up more with somebody being beaten. His family is continuing to look for answers almost a year later and I don't blame them. Here's what I think. Maybe 
Noah went back to the party, got in an argument with his girlfriend. Maybe it was the argument to, that led to other people getting involved, or maybe Noah himself ended up getting into a verbal altercation with somebody, which ended up being physical. It just seems a lot of his injuries seems more like it was purposeful than just a freak accident. And then again, why was his body just dumped on the side of the road? If he was hit by a car, maybe walking on the side of the road, let's say he left the party after the argument with his girlfriend and just went for a walk and a car hit him. We also see maybe broken legs and broken arms. Like I feel a lot more bones would be broken than just the ribs. So I don't believe he was hit by a car. I personally believe he was beaten and then dumped. And then after they dumped his body, they literally threw through the shorts, which is how they don't get damaged. I believe the people at the house party know more than what they're letting on, and I really hope that somebody will eventually come forward with more information. I can't imagine having somebody die in such a way in the first place, and then for to not know how and not know why the mental torment on top of the grief that is not fair for his family to deal with so i really hope that we can cover more of this case i would like to find out a little bit if the girlfriend ever said anything if anyone else at the party has come out and given more details we haven't heard of yet please let me know what you think down below and i will see you in my next one